Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel or welcome if you are new, my name is Vilma. Today's video is going to be one of my favorite videos to film here on my channel, which is all about denim. And if you are a lover of denim like myself, then I'm pretty sure you will appreciate this video. So today is going to be a try on slash review of the Levi's High Loose Jeans. This is a style that I believe is very, very flattering. It's very 70s inspired or 90s, better saying, not 70s, 90s. And I really, really love that super high waist and wide leg jean. I find it very effortless and very timeless as well. Now the High Loose Jeans from Levi's is as far as I'm aware was released either at the end of 2020 or beginning of 2021 and I bought my first shade somewhere in between now the shade that I have which is the lighter one which is right here is called full circle blue and I got it in size 28 waist and 31 in seam the ones that I'm going to be comparing to this particular one are all size 29 waist and 31 in seam and the reason for that it's because I am actually a size 29 rather than a size 28 but at the time I felt like the 28 fitted me a little bit better they're supposed to be looser on the leg and kind of like snug over here I have five available shades and as I speak throughout the video about each particular shade I'll also put the name of it on the screen in case I forget so just a few things to mention about this particular style. They are made of 100% cotton. And if I was to compare these to the ribcage jeans, they are non-stretch, like non-stretch. I am currently wearing a ribcage jeans. These ones are 99% cotton and 1% elastane. So they don't stretch a lot, but they are a little bit more comfortable to wear comparing to 100% cotton. I personally find that depending on the shades that you buy in denim, sometimes the fit feels a little bit different and the feel of the cotton also feels different. So I'm going to touch on all of that whilst I'm talking about these jeans. So with all of that being said, let's get started with this video. So I'm going to start with the ones that I had first these are the full circle blue as mentioned before at the time when i bought these they were 110 pounds so they have gone up by 10 pounds since the beginning of the year i absolutely love this shade i have them as well in 501s and ribcage as well not the same name as I mentioned in previous videos. Levi's tend to name their jeans differently in different styles. I love this shade. I feel like it's very universal. I can wear this every season and I really, really enjoy wearing them till now. So as mentioned previously, these are in size 28 waist and 31 in seam. And from the cutaways, you can see they look really, really nice, but I'm going to go through the cons of this particular size. When I bought them, I felt like the 28 fitted me better than the 29 because in my head, I had that thing of denim stretches, it molds to your body. And after a few times of wearing them, the breaking in period, they will feel a little bit looser. But I particularly find that the denim that Levi's has done this style in doesn't stretch at all like it really does not stretch so i highly suggest that if you want a more relaxed fit to go to your actual size or even go up a size and i feel like overall 29 is my actual size and i feel like the 28 is just a little bit snug but i enjoy them there is no other cons about this particular denim it hasn't stretched at all it still looks exactly the same overall love them but i wish that they were actually a size 29. so the next shade that i have here for you guys is called loose yourself 
it's more of a creamy shade or off-white but I actually think it's more creamy uh, because it has a yellow tinge to it the stitching on this particular shade is brown which is really nice because it adds a little bit of something something to the collar itself it has the normal tag at the back and the Levi's logo right over here now as mentioned size 29 waist and leg 31 in seam and I don't find that there is a huge difference in the fitting of these on the thigh but there is a difference on the waist and the length in my opinion and it's not that they're longer because they're both like if I'm comparing this to the previous shade they are both 31 in seam but because they fit a little bit more comfortable on the waist I feel like they're also more comfortable on the leg overall. I'm not sure if I'm making much sense, but they just fit a little bit better. I feel like on the waist, they are a little bit loose on the back, just a little bit, but I actually prefer it that way because then it's better for me to tuck in a sweater if I want to, or a cardigan. It's just going to fit a lot nicer in the jeans. Now, when it comes to the style, and this particular shade. I really, really like it for the spring and summer months. I think this is going to be a pair of jeans that I will reach for a lot because I feel like this is such a nice, clean style. And because they are super high-waisted, I feel like they look very, very effortless. So overall, really like this shade. I think it's a great addition to my wardrobe because I don't have jeans in this particular shade at all. And I love the style as well. So it's very different to everything I already have. So moving right along to the next shade, which is this one right here. Now at the time of filming this video, these were no longer on the website, so I wasn't actually able to get the name, but hopefully I'll put it here. If not, I'm really sorry. Now, if I was to describe the shade of this particular one, it's more of a taupey shade, but almost gray in tone. The stitching is also gray. The button is silver, so different from the previous ones that I showed. Turning them around, they have the brown logo and the red logo as well at the bottom. Now, comparing this one to all of the other ones that I will be mentioning, I feel like they are the softest when you touch the denim. It's almost like buttery soft, like it feels like it was made differently. I'm pretty sure that all of them are organic cotton, but this one just feels a little bit different. It is also quite loose compared to the other ones, both on the waist and on the thigh, which is a good thing if you like that loose fit. I like them to be snug on the waist and then loose on the leg. So these ones, I feel like they probably will give a little bit more just because the feel of the denim is slightly softer. Now, this shade in particular, I don't actually have anything um, in my wardrobe that resembles this. It's not a shade that I feel like complements my skin tone, but I still find them very, very nice. As mentioned, they are a little bit loose, so maybe if I was to add these to my wardrobe, I would have to have them tailored. But for those of you who like them hanging a little bit, they probably are a really nice addition to your wardrobe. So the next shade actually comes in two different tones. The one that I have here is called Show Off Blue, but they also have one that is called Lazy Sunday. So I don't want you guys to get confused. This one is called Show Off Blue. This particular shade is really nice. Again, for the entire year, I would say, but because it's a little bit more of a mid-wash blue, I think it's perfect now for the colder weather but of course you can wear it the entire year it doesn't really matter especially if you live here in the uk you can wear denim the entire year even in the summer so when it comes to the fit on these i find them very very nice i almost could say that they're 
perfectly fitting to my body, both on the length, the thighs, and on the waist. The shade itself is really nice. I find that this mid-wash blue is a blue that you can wear it again for the entire year. And if you live here in the UK or a similar climate type of country, denim is probably worn the entire year. So this is a shade that I wanted to add to my wardrobe for quite some time in this particular style. And I'm really happy that I bought it in size 29 because I feel like it fits me really well on the waist as well. There's no gaping on the back. Um, and I feel like I could style these with a chunkier knit tucked in or half tucked um, or with a cardigan. I feel like there is enough room at the waist to allow me to do that without feeling restricted. Now I didn't mention this in the previous shades but I like to test the pockets to see how much space I have in my bum and I feel like all of them have the exact same type of restriction when it comes to the pockets. And when I say restriction, I don't mean it in a way that they are uncomfortable, but there is not like a lot of fabric on the back. They are all exactly the same when it comes to the thigh and the pocket area. Overall, I really love these. I feel like these are going to be a pair of jeans that could add a lot of value to one's wardrobe. One, because of the shade, the length is fantastic, the style itself. Um, you can style it with things that are a little bit more fitted, with trainers as I did throughout the video. It's just a versatile piece and I love the shade as well. So overall, I think this is absolutely fantastic. And the last shade that I have right here is called Gotta Dip. This one looks more like an indigo shade, but if I give you a close up, it does have a little bit of different, um, I don't know if it's texture that I would put it, but there is something different about this shade. Now, when it comes to the feel of the fabric itself, it does feel soft, but also thicker um, and a little bit more substantial compared to the other ones that I showed. And I think that's because it's a little bit darker. They use a little bit more dye or different type of dye to color this. And I'm saying dye, it's possibly something completely different. So don't quote me on that. Maybe I'm using the wrong term. Um, when it comes to the fit itself on the thigh and waist, I find that these ones fit very nicely. There is no gaping again on the back um, and I feel like I would be able to style it the exact same way as I would be as I've mentioned the previous shades with the t-shirt with something a little bit more snug or a cardigan or a jumper. Um, I don't know if this is a shade that I would personally gravitate towards. I find them quite dark and to go this dark I would probably just buy a pair of these in black if black exists because I didn't see it on the website it probably does um, but I would probably just go for a dark one. So they're all exactly the same with minor differences in their detail. The button on this is silver um, but everything else is pretty much the same as the previous shades. Fitting wise I've mentioned so many times they fit really nicely. I don't feel like they are different at all from the other ones. Um, so I feel like Levi's is actually quite consistent when it comes to sizing and the fit on all of the shades that I've mentioned. Granted, the lighter shade that I have here is a smaller size, but I feel like they would probably all fit the same if they were the exact same size. So overall, I do like them. Not in love with the shade itself, but the fit is pretty on point. So from all of the shades that I've mentioned today, I find that this particular one is the one that fits the looser or more comfortable, if you will. Um, I feel like on the waist compared to the other ones, this one is a little bit bigger and it also feels a lot softer in comparison to the other shades. If I've not mentioned on this one right here, I feel like it does gape a little bit on the back, but I don't mind it because shades like this, I tend to wear them a little bit more in the warmer weather where our body swells up a little bit. So I don't mind them being a little bit gapy. And if they become a little bit too loose, I can always get them tailored 
to my waist but please bear in mind that if it's too tight and you want to sit down that is not going to be comfortable and that is the issue that I have with this shade right here and that is because I bought them in a smaller size so they're fine when I'm standing up but if I have to sit down for a long period of time they do become uncomfortable and that is why I'm saying try different sizes to see which one fits you best so we've reached the end of today's video I do hope that you guys found it helpful let me know in the comments below if you have further questions about these jeans that maybe I didn't end and if you've not subscribed to my channel I would absolutely love for you to do so if you want to continue watching videos similar to this one and other fashion content that I keep posting on here make sure to hit that subscribe button along with the bell notification so you get notified every time I upload a new video and also give me a follow here on Instagram where I post daily outfit inspirations reels of most of the things that I post on here so make sure to interact with me on there thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you on my next one